Hey everybody, how you doing? This is your boy Rich, and I'm here with a very special guest. It's Amanda from Indonesia. How are you doing today, Amanda? I'm doing fabulous. How are you doing? I'm doing really, really good. I just wanted to say hello. This is the first time we've done a video so far in 2019, and it's been a crazy year so far to start 2019 with lots of gains, lots of sneak attacks, a lot of big players getting bigger, a lot of small players making big moves. I made a video today and I gave my top 10 picks that I'm gonna be watching for tomorrow, um, sorry, for Monday, because I'm going to be looking to enter into the market on Monday. I'm gonna give you my list of 10 and then you can give me your list that you're looking for tomorrow. How about that? Yeah, I'm really excited to compare the two and see where we're at. Okay, perfect. So my number 10 pick, is Village Farms, VFF, which has been on a tear. My number nine is North, NRTH, 48 North Cannabis. Uh, the ladies have done a good job there and they've been on a tear. Ianthus is my number eight pick that I'm gonna be watching for tomorrow, absolutely love them. Ceneva is my number seven pick, tight float on that company, I really like them. The, ca the cannabis, uh, Canopy of California. So I think they're going to be huge. T God is number six, international company, tons of money in the bank. They're going to be massive. Labs, company that's been making a lot of money, still low priced. I think uh, they're going to be very, very strong. I'm looking at them to, on Monday as well. And my number five pick, my number four pick is Zena, Z-E-A-N-A, -E um, kind of under the radar company, Z-B-I-S-F in America. I love them. I think that they have enormous upside, 3.5 million square feet of production um, production capacity, huge opportunity there with Xena. Medman, I have him as number three. Tight flow, uh, tons of money, lots of revenue, and growing in America, I think they're positioned to explode, and they're priced right. Uh, very close to a 52-week low, actually, is Medman. And then Afria is my number two pick. Obviously, you know, international company, one of the big three. And then Aurora Cannabis, my number one pick, which is pretty much always my number one pick. And they are always on my radar. So those are the 10 that I'm going to be looking at to either enter or swing trade as of Monday. I'd love to know what you think about my 10, and I'd love to see what you're going to be looking at. Okay, well, our lists are pretty close. Um, I'm going to go from number one to number 10. Okay. But yeah, we're pretty close. And these are all, these are ones that I want to get into this week because I think they're all pretty close to really good buying opportunities. So here's where I'm at. Number one, MedMen, just because they're fabulous and what an amazing price they are. They've taken some slack lately. So I think I'm getting in first thing Monday morning. So right. MedMen, number one. Number two, Siva because I've always loved Sneva, again, Canopy of California. Number three, Tea God, because it's a great price right now, and I still love Tea God. My number four is Pill, um, Cantab. They're a wicked price right now, and they have some nice spikes. They've been um, pretty sideways since, well, for a while now, but I think they have something coming up, because they were, what, Health Canada approved them for research and development, back in May. So we're at like 11 months. So I think something big is going to happen soon. So can't tap. Next, Xena. Um, I love Xena. I've treated it a couple times over the last couple months and it's done me well. And I think it's an awesome price right now. So Xena. Next, Charlotte's Web. Love Charlotte's Web. Um, I trade it often and it's starting to come down to a pretty fair price point. So not getting in quite yet, but I'm waiting on it. Um, next, Acreage. I like Acreage Farms. I always have since the beginning. And um, they're starting to scrape a bottom pretty soon. So I think if it goes down like another dollar or so, I'm jumping in. Um, and Asa. Australis. I think it's a good price. It took a little run not long ago, and I wouldn't doubt if it does it again soon. And another one that I'm watching close but I'm not jumping in quite yet because it got a bit high, is Chiron, K-H-R-N. So I got my fingers on Chiron, but that's it. That's my list. I like your list. Are you looking to do some trading on Monday? Absolutely. I'm hoping for MedMen on Monday. That's, I, really, I really have a feeling MedMen is going to blow this week. I don't know when, but as soon as market opens on Monday, I'm in 100%. 
What about a pullback? Do you feel that there's going to be a pullback? I mean, we've had a strong, very strong January. And then we've had another positive February. Now we're into March. Are we going to have a pullback? I mean, typically this industry goes two to three months hot, two to three months cold. You think we're due for a pullback? I'm feeling in my gut that there's going to be a pullback. I'm scared to get in and then have a pullback come in and get slaughtered because it's happening. I know. That's why I'm only trying to buy like almost absolute bottoms. Um, I thought we were going to have a pullback a month ago. So I've been mostly in cash for, well, like five weeks now because I've been scared to death because it's coming. Like two years in a row, we've always had a pullback, like early gen- I mean, early February to mid-February. And now we're, you know, ending the first week of March and it's still rolling. So yeah, I'm scared to death. So treading lightly, but I think if we find, if we're still at some bottoms, I think we still, there's still money to be made. What do you think? Well, I, you know what? I agree with you. I'm excited for Monday. Let's have a great trading week. Let's make it count. And I'll be watching and hopefully we'll all be winning. And for those of you guys that are watching, you can join our Telegram. It's growing very quickly. We've got lots of great minds in there that are finding picks every single day pre-market. So we can find some, you know, some winners that are running like some days 10%, 20%. 50%, 100%, 200%, 300%. Like we're seeing some crazy runners lately. There's been a lot of sneak attacks. And keep your eye on 48 North and Village Farms. They seem to be going up every single day. So either they're going to continue to go up or there's going to be a pullback. Hi. <laughs> this is my Bali mom. She's doing a ceremony right now. Very she nice. Very nice. Spirit. I Special. hope you have a great ceremony. She's bringing us good luck right now. That's what Very she's good. Doing. We need good luck. We need good luck. Stop. Well, Amanda, you know what? I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you enjoy your time in Indonesia. And thank you once again for your time. Let's do it again soon. Have a great trading week. And let's get back together soon. Let's talk about, you know, how we did. And hopefully we'll have a great week and we can talk about it. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, guys. Just- this is Rich from Rich TV Live with Amanda from Indonesia. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. And hit that bell for notifications so every single time we go live or we have a video, something new, you get it first. All right? Thank you guys for watching. This is your boy, Rich, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, I'm not falling. I'm sitting, in the, I'm sitting in the temple, and she said maybe I'll fall if I sit here. So <laughs> I'm kind of like a little bit on the edge. But that was so cool. Hoo-yah!